Chris Chom for KaijuPop.com, and today we're having a look at SteamWorld Dig on the 3DS. SteamWorld Dig, that came out back in the summer, and everybody loved it back then. Why, why are you talking about such an old, such old news, such old news, Chris? Uh, I can hear you all saying on YouTube comments and, you know, whatever. Um, and yes, aha, uh -huh, that's true, uh, I would reply with, but... Um, Steam or Dig wasn't available on the Japanese uh, eShop and Japanese 3DSs, which is what I have, um, until just this past week, until November the 20th, um, Steam or Dig went up. So um, I've been very, very eager to, to check this out and take a look at it. It's also coming out on PC on December the 5th, so very, very soon. Uh, probably CJ or, or Dave will be able to uh, take proper captured video of this rather than... Um, this sort of off-screen uh, honky setup that I uh, shonky setup that I use to to capture 3ds stuff with. Uh, honestly, I've got a camera propped up on some books. Um, if you only knew the torture that I went through for you. Uh, so I'm going to press A to start. And it says there. Um, I am really not very far into this game. I'm I played the first 40 minutes of it, so uh, I'm I'm pretty new to it here. Um, so Steam or Dig, if you don't know, let's get a little bit closer to the camera then, well, uh, is kind of a Metroidvania thing. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those 2D puzzle platformer games um, where you get new abilities and uh, new things as you go and uh, sort of explore slightly further into its labyrinthine world as you go. Um, Every time you, you get a little bit further, you return to your topside little village here, uh, which I'm in charge of. Uh, so I can talk to the owner of the saloon here, and she says, uh, I know what that means, place, or oh, underground, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm paraphrasing here. Uh, you know, it's one of those ones where I know the kanji in English, but I'm embarrassing. I'm embar I have embarrassing levels of, of reading out loud in, in Japanese. Um, there's not too much text in this game. If you do have a, a 3DS and uh, you want to check out uh, Steam World Dig and you're like, oh, my Japanese is rubbish, but I only have a Japanese 3DS for whatever reason. Um, it's, it's not like you're going to be completely lost or anything. Uh, but there are some, some nice little, you know, Nicely characterized uh, characters and stuff. Um, the trade uh, shop here with uh, with Dorothy is uh, where I come to trade in my ore and stuff for money. And money is what I use to level up and also uh, as money uh, to buy things from uh, Cranky who, who runs the uh, upgrade shop. Uh, but I don't need any upgrades now, thanks. Uh, I'm going to get going. Um... So if we look down here, uh, I've got a marker on my minimap which always tells me where I want to go next, which is very, very handy. Um, typically, I really like um, Metroidvania games, or I like the idea of Metroidvania games, but I get really just lost really quickly. Um, either life or other games get in the way, and then I come back to them and I go, oh, where was I supposed to go next? Um, I don't know, and then I just kind of give up, uh, whereas, at least here we've got a handy marker that says, uh, you need to go down, stupid. Um, so all of these caves, when, when you first start the game, this is all rock, this was all rock as far as the eye could see, hey? Um, but I've managed to carve through it with, uh, with my pickaxe as I've explored, uh, deeper and deeper down, and you might think... Hitting things with your pickaxe and going deeper and deeper and down and stuff. That sounds a bit boring. It's, it's not like you're uh, engaging in massive vistas. But there's something oddly pleasing about SteamWorld Dig. Oddly pleasing about the navigation of it. Uh, the further I go, the, the more little things I find. Those uh, fossil dudes um, are actually enemies that will, will come in and cause you all sorts of grief. Uh, you've got to work hard and, and work quickly and efficiently to make sure that you don't get squished by falling rocks and stuff. And every time as I'm digging through, and there's that falling rock, I'm looking for those colored rocks which um, contain precious orbs and minerals which I can then use 
uh, to sell once I get back to the surface. Um, so there's constantly things to look out for and it's, it's really uh, just really nice to navigate. Um, but also the key thing is that um, so far at least uh, for me, this isn't what you're looking at here isn't the game at large per se. Um, what you're looking at here, this, this massive space that I'm carving through, and as you can see, uh, I'm adding to my minimap as I'm sort of exploring through here, and it, it feels like I'm really sort of, it does feel like you're exploring um, with the hazards that that brings. If you look in the top right, I'm constantly burning oil. The, the further, uh, the deeper down I go, the, the darker it becomes, and I always need uh, oil in my lamp, otherwise I won't be able to see. Uh, so that's cool. Um, oh no, oh crap, so there's an enemy which I'm going to hit with my axe, there you go, and I get some some oil for my lamp as a reward there. Um, yeah, it's 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 pleasing to do, but this isn't, oh I got full damage, that was stupid. Should What you need to do is, is hold down the side there and then you get a little bit more. Um, so the further you go, I should have gone in. I went in the, the top door here but uh, to get into my mine shaft. But what I needed to do really, really, really uh, was step in the teleportation chamber, which is that blue thing that just zaps you to further down. So it's not like uh, you have to do a massive amount of um, chipping away to just to get through you know, to the next stage. You can just skip down. Um, but I'm not looking at the whole world in itself here, uh, per se. Um, what this is, in essence, is the hub world um, to SteamWorld Dig. And uh, where the real stages are, because I'm going to run out of light. Yeah, it just says, I could it, it's, uh, it's all gone. I'm not going to have that. Um, what I really want to get to is these uh, separate shafts that are marked one and two. Uh, so far and I'm looking for the third one right now and so what you're doing is exploring this wide open world which now I can't see any of uh, so I'm gonna press X luckily I have come prepared um, and light up my lamp here or we'll just place a marker down ah oh, man oh I brought those things thinking they would just instantly fill up my lamp but they're just markers that's really interesting um, what I want to do. There you go, squish him. Give me... Yeah! Got a little bit more light from that. Um, so there is that kind of... There is... It, it feels, you know, dangerous. I'm going to run out of light at any instant and I'm going to get completely not stuck. You know, it's not like you're screwed until um, you go back up for air or you go and spend real money on more oil or something. Um, you know, you don't get stuck, it, it just makes each little step more of a risk, you know, there's, uh, you know, you might discover these these pits of these little uh, pools of water or whatever, uh, or you might discover a monster, you just don't know, oh, it's a big, it's a big porcupine, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, die, before I die, yeah, oh, you just had water, you didn't have oil, um, so there's random drops here. Um, but I've got to drill down, and it's a long way down to get where I'm going, so hopefully so you, you can't always get what you want, evidently. Um, oh, crap! Mm, I'm going to wait till he turns around. Mm, surprising. Ah, yep. oh, I died. It's going to cost me a dollar to respawn. That was stupid. Well, this time let's go in the teleporter and do this properly. Um, yeah, there, there is just such a nice um, uh, risk reward to progression and, and working efficiently or working carefully and exploring. It's like, what the heck is that thing? It's a giant orb that's probably upgrades, but I can't get behind that little wall there, so I want to upgrade my stuff. And uh, speaking of stuff, uh, when you die, uh, the bag that contains all the ores and materials you found gets left behind. Um, so, you know, 
like Dark Souls or what have you, you, you can recoup, catch up with your old self, and then go in there. Here's a mysterious cave. Let's check it out. Uh, I've never seen this bit before. So there's lots of little explorable bits. There's just there's just lots to everything. That's um, you know that's the thing. That's the the joy of Steam World Dig. Um, it seems like there shouldn't crap like <laughs> like there shouldn't be much to it. Um, but there really is. There really is, especially for uh, the 800 yen. That this costs uh, certainly on the Japanese store. I, I don't know what the pricing's like uh, in other territories. Um, it's great value for money. It's great value for money uh, for sure. Um, and it's a really fun little little 3DS game. Um, but are we actually ever gonna get our way through this ever trickier mine before we get to that discreet stage that I was talking about? These things good, they're extra sort of currency, those those uh, orbs. Um, so that's a, a nice thing to get. Um, but yeah, it seems we're getting deeper and deeper. Come on, at least let me get to that discrete stage <laughs> before we go. Um, yeah, so at least let's, let's see if we can make it to our objective, if not past it. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. This is, it's, it's slow. This game is slow. It's, it's a plodding game. Um, and you might think that's not great as I've uh, filled up my bag, but that looks like a, a nice piece of material. So I'm going to get rid of that Gaminium and pick up that silver instead. Um, so I can upgrade my kit. Um, to, you know, to get a bigger pouch of stuff to, to bring with me and more stuff to sell. Um, it's a slow plodding game. You might think that's really bad for a portable game to be. It shouldn't be slow and plodding. Um, but it works. It works for SteamWorld Dig uh, for whatever reason. It just feels good to know that every time you play it, you're going to get just a little bit, just a pinch further. Um, and you know that feels that feels great. It scratches an OCD itch, but like I said, it it never feels like oh you know I'm just gonna forget where I am and, and get lost. It's it's very clear uh, for the most part. About where you should you should be, uh, except I've I've died. I've gone and I've gone and died now. Oops. Well, every time you die, uh, you do get uh, saved and stuff. Uh, it's just one of those things. Well, look, uh, every time I do anything on video, I'm, I'm shite at video games all of a sudden. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the further you go, the, the more sort of skills uh, you get to pay the bills. You get uh, better pickaxes that, that get you through rock quickly. Um, I've earned the ability to dash and dash jump. Um, I've also unlocked... Uh, I need water to be able to do it, but, uh, in fact, I think this time, oh, we can't, okay, let's get one, no, oh, you need more, you need both kinds of currency for that, um, I've also unlocked the ability to steam jump, so, uh, you saw, oh, what, that's stupid, um, you saw the, the puddles of water that we found um, earlier on, and if I use that, if I hop in there, uh, then I can sort of drain those of, of their water and use that water to, to power really... Uh, fuck. God, I'm dense. Do you really powerful jump and jump further and I haven't got any money now? Oh, I've got one dollar to my name. Um, God, I'm absolutely, of course, now that I've died again, I can't get back, uh, the kit that I've done, so, um, all that progress kind of went to waste in a sense, but, at least, at least, folks, um, I have my pride, no, and I, I have the fact that I've uncovered more of the map, um, so, 
in a way, you could just do this for hours, as I've done, apparently, for the last 15 minutes without realizing it. Um, you know, just dig further down and just kind of go, I wonder what's here, I wonder what's there, I, you know, I wonder what's around the corner, um, without even getting to the objectives, finding an optimal route down or just finding something uh, cool that's around the corner before you get to these... Um, you know, separate discrete stages where you're doing similar things, um, but in more open areas that require more sort of lateral thought in terms of where to dig, um, where you can do those dash jumps, where you can do those um, steam jumps as well. Um, so, I mean, this is hardly the most frenzied, fast-paced, instant gratification uh, kind of games, and that's... Um, I think for some that's going to disappoint when it comes to a portable game, you know, which which typically, you know, portable games tend to be about instant gratification. Um, but it's just it's it's hard to describe. There's there's something pleasing about steadily opening up a path. There's something pleasing about steadily getting better. Um, there's something pleasing here, as I can see on the map where we got to last. Oh, crap! Spikes! Um, there's something exciting about going, Oh, crap! I've found these spikes and they're going to kill me, so I'm going to dig around these. And then each time... Oh, crap, I didn't get away from him. It's probably the, for the best. Um, you know, there is this feeling that, that each time you go through, it's like, right, I'm going to open up a new path down. I'm going to get squished by this guy. There we go. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to forge my own path through here and kind of make a more effective means for myself to, to get to the next sort of stage and, and, the, and the next part of the game. It, it's um, this little navigation that, that probably makes for the, the best hub world uh, in a video game that I can think of in a long time. I'm out of item space. Uh, ditch you. Ditch you. Oh, that's worth more money. Ah. Okay. Ah, that's worth less money, actually. <laughs> At the end of the day, that was dumb. Um. Oh. That's... Hello. Yeah, so these little caves here... Uh, a kind of off the beaten path, what, not where I really want to go, as is shown on my map, but uh, I can go, choose to go in here and try and get a few extra things, hopefully more oil for my lamp, because I'm in desperate need of some. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's go in and see what happens here. Um, oh yeah, so, there you go, I've filled up water, which I've, I've drained that puddle now, and now if I hold down to charge... Do I hold down? No. I don't remember how I do this stuff. There you go, hold down and jump and release, and then I can get that, um, that item there, which gives me more of everything, health and water and um, oil all in one go, which is pretty handy um, but I'm not going to be able to do anything else in this section by the looks of things oh wait oh okay I see um, wow this is this is pretty tricky <laughs> uh, get out of the way right so now he's out and now I'm out of light as well great go run away ah Pants. Ah, uh, let's face it, <laughs> we're not gonna get to. Oh, okay, all right. Well, there is a little bit of uh, checkpointing within each of these sections, so that's that's uh, that's okay. Uh, that's never happened. I've I've never died outside of that of the sort of main map before. Um, I was gonna call it quits right there, um, but hooray for for decent checkpointing. Uh, let's see if we can do this again. Run away! Yay. 
Yes. You run away! Okay, this is not going to cause me any grief. So. Uh, I need to. Ah, well, the thing is. Oh, okay, he's going to take care of himself. That's lovely. So I can go in here, get that. Mm, can I do it, viewers? Oh, just about. So there is the other chap up here. There you go. There you are, fella. There we go. Get you out of the way. And then jump up there and get some lovely shiny orbs. Oh, all sorts of diamonds here as well. Uh, let's see what's rubbish I can get rid of. Get rid of that. Get some money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar bills. Hey! So that's all right. Uh, so yeah, there's there's constantly um, the you know it, it's tempting you to go into these side caves so you can get um, more cash and and do this little side stuff. Um, but of course, again, if I croak here, then it'll be for naught. So I've got to not die and be good at this game. Um, oops, it's easier said than done. Ah, good. <laughs> Sometimes the environment does the work for you. Um, I need to go this point. Okay, some that beast down there killed himself somehow. Ah, by getting on those spikes. Okay. I'm going to jump over here. Um, so it's nice. It, it's not like, say, a Spelunky where um, everything is out to get you. It, it's, um, it's more that you're in this world that's a, a dangerous place, but it's, uh, it's certainly fair. And, um, you know, never is it sort of do you feel that it's it's balanced against you in any way um i should say as well this looks really gorgeous um just because of the way that i'm shooting this um it doesn't look the best uh film through a viewfinder and doing stuff off screen never looks good but this is really nice 2d art uh i dare say when it does come out on pc on december the 5th it will not look uh an awful lot better you know even than this um but it's, it's, it's a good looker, not much of a WoW 3D game, uh, but then what is, you know, um, jump, eat it, bug thing, e. ah, Actually, looking at the uh, the map here, I'm heading in completely the wrong direction. It wants me to go right, and I don't have any water to make that massive jump. So, ah, oh, balls! Couldn't have gone any worse, quite frankly. Well, I suppose it could. Uh, could have died, but still. Hmm, doors, a eh? rocks, a eh? this way, a. Eh? needed health. Does it really need water? Aha, look at me now. So these even, um, I don't know, I, I, just the element of, of risk that's connected to just straight up traversal. Like, I could screw myself, um, by taking on one jump too many and and not having enough water to to make it up to a certain area but having drained all the resources of the land you know um not the land but the environment that we're in uh we can't get past here yet so mm. should i steam jump it i guess i should there we go. There we go. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Hmm. 
That's a poser, and no mistake. Uh, the way I don't like it. I've made all of this money, and I don't want to cop it. That's one door. Um, that's some. Uh, that's some much needed health. Thank you very much. Oh, I can get through those rocks. Okay, I couldn't before. Uh, I just forgot that I recently bought an upgrade for that stuff. Um, I can't get through there, though. I can get through there, but I can't jump and hit at the same time. Um, so, hey, a lot of that typical Metroidvania style, ooh, you can't get there now kind of thing, but come back later. So, evidently, I'm looking for two button switches. Evidently, I should be looking at the map, uh, because that's totally telling me where I need to go. Um. Yeah. Take that terrain. Right. Um, that's a perilous looking up, so I'm going to have to dash across there. Whoosh. But. Huh. Huh. Oh, okay. Uh, ah! Oh, okay. And now I can come back up there. Can I? There we go. That's yeah, some much needed oil. Two doors out of three. Evidently, I've missed the closest and easiest door. Where could you be? The door of three. This way. I hope. Ah, oh, great. Perfect. Right. Way through that switch already. Did I? I did, right? Yeah. Might have to call it if I get any stupider. There we go. Mm hmm. Ooh, secret area. Yay! Refill of everything. Right, so I can at least shortcut through here. If needs be. But I think what I want is probably over here. Yay! I did it! I did a thing. I did a thing. I thrown the screen off focus in... <laughs> <laughs> my fit of playing, but let's face it, who's watching up to this point? Uh, this is really probably for myself. Uh, as is pretty much everything we do on kaijupop.com. It's a vanity project, really. Um, and down here. That's a lot of rock. Whoa! Yay! Hurrah! I have made it to the thing and I've gotten a drill item gets. Um, yay. Ooh. So now I can drill through rock. Very handy. Nice. Or I can switch back to my pickaxe if I so desire. Uh, but I don't know why I'd want. Oh, okay. It's a steam powered drill, so it takes water to use. Um, other than that, I can just. Burn on through. Cool.
Cool. So uh, now begins the uh, the process of of getting back out of here to getting topside. Although the game's telling me to dig further down. Shall I? Oh man, this is so much easier. Should I go in? That says monster stuff. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna return to to top side over here and uh, and call it quits on this video before I uh, I screw it all up. Um, so yeah, Steam or Dig. It's on the Japanese 3DS e store right now. Coming to PC on 5th of December. Or if you've got it on the English eShop, then uh, well done. It's a really good game, isn't it? Um, yeah, I really like it anyway. Uh, Chris Chant for KaijuPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye!